and Clipper fans. First and foremost, I hope that all of you are staying safe and healthy in these crazy times that we're dealing with. This video didn't really start out anything like the finished product here. I was watching the weather forecast and it looked like uh, the perfect day to get Yvonne out of the house and into some natural sunlight for a change. Uh, fortunately, here in Ohio, we're still allowed to use our boats with our families and we're still allowed to fish. I took a few cameras along with the intention of trying to answer a few questions for my friends in the Pacific Northwest, uh, which you'll see in the video. And we decided to keep the cameras rolling all the way through dinner, where I will be sharing my favorite way to cook fresh Lake Erie walleye. So stick with us for a few minutes here, catch a little glimpse of how we, this would be Yvonne and I, along with Phoenix and our trusty mascot Mater, are handling our social distancing order. And wait till you see how excited Yvonne gets when the rods start bending. So stick around, I hope you enjoy this day as much as we did. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. So this, this video is mostly for the benefit of the people on the west coast asking me questions about what the ropes are and everything like that hanging off the side of the boat. So this is kind of how we do it. These are these are our planer boards. These run off the side. That one going out, swing around and the ropes hanging off the side these are these canvas bags 48 inch canvas parachutes basically throw these down in the water drop those down off each side to control our speed early in the year and the water's still cold so slow is what we need. Now we're setting our baits out 75 feet back. 75 back. Could give us about 15 or 16 feet deep. We can only run three rods aside because somebody didn't buy a fishing license. Need help with that? Got it. I don't know. Phil Collins usually doesn't make a fish fight. Well, I love Phil Collins. Yeah, but ACDC, Metallica, oh. Pink Floyd. That's what makes fish bite. Oh, look who's digging into the easy snacks already. I put the whole box in there, didn't I? Hey, 
in which it's going to be the first rod to go. Split it in half. Yeah, split it in half now. Just have a little piece off of it. That's the big half. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me! Yep, you got it. Remember, we've got to pop the line. That so easy. Oh, it's going to be me, 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 me! Yep. Me. Okay, come back to the middle here before okay. you pop it. Pop it now? Rod down towards its up, out towards its up. Pop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now slow down. Stop. Come all the way over the other side. You get two lines to get around. There's another one. Oh, that's you. Can you get the net ready? He's way on top. Six lines in, and they're all set at uh, 75. Uh, yep, we had one on an RC truck and lost it. Got one right now. Yep, I just turned to 20 degrees there. Here, come on, stop. Come on, get the Come on, the fun. It's already good. Just oh start lining there. He's right on the inside. Keep that rod up real high like yeah, that. Yeah, always heavy. Yeah, yeah, we got one in the box. This is the second one. 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 This is the second
There he goes. Look at that. asking about how many rods are on this boat. <laughs> oh my word, yeah. Not enough. That's always the answer. <laughs>
day out on the boat this year. It was cold in the beginning, but with the sun coming out, it's absolutely gorgeous and much needed medication. Right on the front. Okay. I get up in this chair, I need a little step stool. That? I said I need a step stool to get up on this tag on yeah, thing. There's the foot thing over there. But I know. That's still not enough to boost me. I'm so short. Oh, somebody found out where the channel isn't. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's backing it off there. Hey guys, if you've made it this far, you qualify as super fans and deserve to get my top secret recipe for the best walleye dinner anywhere. Listen up, this one's pretty easy. Lay out a few uh, fairly generous lengths of aluminum foil. Uh, for seasoning, I like to use Chef Paul Prudhomme's Blackened Redfish Magic. Uh, you can use whatever you'd like, but if you've never tried that, I suggest you get your hands on some. Lemon pepper is a good seasoning for this also. Anything will work. Um, sometimes I do a little of both, you know, when we make dinner. But um, Take your fillets, rinse your clean boneless fillets in cold water, and then dry them off with paper towels as dry as you can get them. On half of the aluminum foil, sprinkle down a nice bed of the seasoning right on the foil, and then you lay the fillets right on top of that. Um, and leave enough foil around the edges of the fillets that you can fold it over several times to get it sealed. So after you've got the fillets on there, sprinkle a little more seasoning on the top side then. Uh, fold the foil over and then fold the edges over at least twice, you know, three times if you can to make sure it seals up. You want to have it sealed. That's, that's half of the, that, that's the key there is making sure the, the foil is sealed. So, I put them on the grill, uh, medium heat, about 350. Um, only takes about 20 minutes on there. Thicker fillets might need about 25 minutes or so. Uh, you could do this in the oven also. I'm just a, a grill guy, something about cooking over flames, I suppose. 
And as far as the walleye cheeks, the cheek meat, super delicious. We call them Lake Erie scallops. Uh, those, very simply, saute them in uh, um, butter, uh, garlic, adds a nice flavor to it also. You can use any, uh, you know, whatever your favorite everyday spice mix is with that. But uh, saute them in the butter and your spice for about five minutes or so. Flip them uh, once or twice on there, serve them while they're hot. Uh, absolutely super delicious. So there you have it. That's uh, that's how I cook my walleye. Give it a try if you've never done it like that. And let me know what you think. Leave some comments below. If you've got any other recipes that you like, put those in the comments as well. I always like to try something new. And one final thought. These are certainly strange and difficult times for many of us throughout the world, really hardships whether it be physical emotional or financial or hitting every one of us in some way it could be hard not to dwell on the negativity that surrounds us be sure to take some time to appreciate the positive things that we do have for me it's more time at home with family more home cooked meals and although i truly do love my job not getting out of bed at 4 or 5 a.m every day is kind of nice Positives might be something different for each one of us, but they are there if you look for them. Try not to let the negativity cast a shadow over everything. Take care of yourself first. Until next time, stay safe and stay healthy.